Greetings. Welcome to Bruce's Eclectic World. Today we are back up on our production machine, I guess you want to call it, that we do all of our YouTube stuff on. I have several computers. One does media stuff for the media server, watching YouTube, whatnot. Another one does most of my communications and my shopping. And this one here does all my YouTube GitHub stuff. If you've seen the last video on June 7th, where we nuked <laughs> and paved cinnamon. Today is the 17th, as you can see up here. And yes, Matt, I'm a tab hoarder. Just like you, I even, I even do this one. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, I digress. I have spent many days, a week or better, to be exact, five or six hours a day, dicking with this whole scenario. Ever since Linux did their big Git update thing, for some reason, Simon will not work on any of my computers. I can reproduce this every time, no matter if I install Oracle, or Isnix uh, install, or Endeavor OS, anything that has Cinnamon on it. As you seen in the last video, this is and <laughs> don't be confused with this screen, folks. I'll explain in a minute. Works better now because it's on XFCE. As you can see, this is a Arco install of Left WM. Now this is not. Arco's left WM. This is the one I compiled off of left WM's GitHub project. Just to make sure that it had nothing to do with anybody's configuration files. These are all my configuration files that I have always used. And for some reason, after Arch did their big thing, poof, nothing works. Now, I know, everybody out there going, well, it's Arch, baby. Well... <laughs> Yeah, that's why we use it, because, you know, it's it's the upper cutting edge of things. Uh, I'm not saying that it is the, because, you know, you have several other people out there, or, uh, distros out there, you know, that may or may not be ahead or, or behind. It doesn't matter. With that said, I will show you that, watch this, I'm going to use... My key short keyboard shortcut, Control T, and bam, there is the terminal screen. And just to prove a point that I'm on Arco Linux, and not to confuse everybody, we'll run Neil, Neil Fetch. And indeed, I am on Arch, and it's Arco Linux, and CSH left WM. You can see right there the whole shebang. I <laughs> I made this screen for Endeavor OS before Endeavor OS actually had a nice looking one. This is my version, not Neil Fetch's. That's why I use this all the time, just because I just I I have this set the way I like it, and this you know the way the way it is. <laughs> I know that confuses people. Uh, you know, I got a comment, well, you're on Endeavor OS. Well, no, I'm not. I just use this screen on all my computers. I have several others. I have a couple arch ones like this. I just kind of like the boat for some reason. <laughs> and like I said, I made I made this. As you can see, this is version 3.5. Uh, and it's been that version for over a year. Anyway, I digress some more. <laughs> uh, 
but I'm just making this video to show that uh, everything's working fine. As you can see that pops up really fast. So that's the Sublime Sublime Text S SLB Bruce. S U B. One of these days I learned this type. So as you can see, this is uh, Rofi. And I hit enter. Bam! There it is. No damn 30 seconds to wait. Uh, I will be placing some <laughs> B-roll in here directly. Showing my hard drive setup at the, at the moment. Maybe, maybe, maybe we just go ahead and play it now. Let's do that. Okay. We'll do that in a minute. This is uh, Sunar. And just to show that I am on XFCE. There we go. Sunar. Like I said, this is the Arco Linux install with my left WM. And this is my repo that I use to set up all my computers. And if you're familiar with Arco Linux, this is uh, Eric's Nemesis project, and I adapted it to my, for my uses. Uh, the structure is basically the same as his, except I use a uh, basic install each uh, sign has its own, so audio has or script. Everybody has a script. You know, fetchers, fonts, office, uh, web browsers. My one, and this installs my window manager stuff. A lot of it's repeated in here because I can go in here and install just any one separate uh, thing. Or reinstall whichever you like. And I have a folder for my personal stuff. It has all my uh, scripts for my personal settings. And here's all my settings. And at the end of this script, choice scripts here. Let's just go ahead and open it. As you can see, it just goes down and follows the script. And then when it gets done, you know, it wants to know if I want to install AUR stuff or reboot. And I usually just reboot and I install AUR stuff later. But it also goes out and pulls in my Moonbase Office repo which is all the config files for my all my system and this this is open to the public if you want to go look at it it's on my B.E. Scott 9944 git project <laughs> this is a uh, Currently, my folder here is currently, this is my old hard drive right now with the screwed up cinnamon thing on it. And I just got a sim links over here to the projects for now. So I can... Uh, get to things and do my recording because let's let's show some of that B footage and you can see that that's what I'm using and it is an external drive and it, it goes up to <laughs> I, I can't point where it's a damn to the stargazer up there 
as I showed in the other video. And let's see what this one is. And here's the drives and the boxes that I'm using. Uh, I have t two of these, and Esnex XFC is on the other one. I will boot that up and show you here in a little bit. But I just wanted to show you these, and <laughs> because this is what I've been doing for the last 10 days. Installing and reinstalling. Taking pieces out of the scripts. Don't, uh, you know, removing software. Just removing anything to figure out what's going on. And eventually I'll be putting this in with this. And that's going to be my Stargazer computer. And I'm going to take out the spinning drives. Because, uh... We're, you know, we're going to get into the 20th century. <laughs> it's uh, awesome, isn't it? Yes. I'll probably cut all this out because I'm just sitting there rambling. Okay. Thank you. But the main topic of this video is life after cinnamon. It's called XFCE. Pause the video here. Start uh, the other SSD with uh, Esnix version of XSCE on it, just to show you that it works. Just all my scripts work just fine on it too. So we'll be back. Bye. Okay, so we're back. Uh, <laughs> Yes, this is uh, the other SSD with the ESNIX version of XFCE installed. As you can see up here, it says Arch Linux. Maybe you can't see that. That might be too small. I can hardly see it. Hmm. Let's go over here. And yes, I'm still using this because it gets installed on all my screens. As you can see, we're in the left WM. And this is the Stargazer Esnix Arch. Easy, easy Archer. There you go. <laughs> Talking is so hard. And that's the X is the XFCE version. That's the kind of way I do it anymore. As you can see down here at the prompt. Says the same thing. Let's do a needle fetch. And as you can see, this is plain arch. That uh, this is the way Asnix puts uh, Easy Archer works. He installs plain arch, and then you install XFCE desktop on top of it, uh, which is what I did. And once again, this left WM right here is my compiled version off of their git project this is not a repo install and as you see this is tile x train of thought with poof this like i said this is xx version we'll bring up ropa here as you can see there's all my software that i use i didn't show this on the other video i'll show i will maybe if i remember you know being old, it's hard to remember crap. Everything pops up as it should. Bam! There, there. See, no 30 seconds waiting. Even on uh, Easy Archer's XFCE. And yes, I have tried this with his cinnamon version, like I stated earlier. I tried it with Endeavor OS, Arco Linux, Arch Labs, and a couple others. And what I did was, I went through my scripts, well, like I showed earlier, and I took out every, 
free thing that I could think of. I would run just the audio stuff. And I would run just the office script. It all did the same thing. 30 seconds to open the screen. After a fresh install. Every single time. With Easy Archer's uh, XFC, it's a full desktop. Where uh, Orco's left WM install ISO is not a full desk XFC desktop where this one is uh, I would lock out and show you but I can't <laughs> it was kill the recording anyway I've come to conclusion as soon as I install uh, DWM or Spectra WM or left WM Cinnamon refuses to function in a window manager. Just flat ass, I don't know what they did. Somebody did something. Don't know what it is. I took a fresh install of Cinnamon, Easy Archer Cinnamon, and just, all I did was just install left WM. No scripts, no nothing. I configured it to open just a terminal. Same thing. Took 30 to 40 seconds to open a terminal. Just a terminal. In a fresh install of Cinnamon Desktop with Left WM Window Manager. Don't understand it. So, understanding is not necessary, apparently. <laughs> with that said, We'll just run XFC. I'm just as happy with XFCE. I mean, you know. Thunar, Thunar has grown up a lot from the last time I used it four years ago. That was one of the things I quit using XFCE for because I just could not get my head happy with Thunar. It's okay now. Bruce likes it. <laughs> It's kind of like uh, Mikey likes it, right? Although I'm not going to eat it. <laughs> it's an old commercial. Those of you out there that are my age will understand that. So this is my uh, my debacle. We're uh, using XFCE from now on. And I want to uh, jump in there and thank all my subscribers. If you can see up here, there's 39 on Bruce's World of Stuff. And we have a new one on Bruce's Eclectic World. We have 71 there. Uh, I hope I am entertained a little bit. You have some kind of knowledge. And if I torture you just enough, you might keep on coming back. Maybe you like that. I don't know. Uh, it's kind of kinky, isn't it? Let's... <laughs> Oops. Well, let's not go there. That's a bag of worms. Anyhow, this is <clears throat> where we're rocking from now on. XFCE is our new home. I have three other computers to change. <clears throat> My media server. And finish putting this one together. Like I said, I'm going to... I'm going to use two SSDs in this machine and get rid of the spinner. But right now we're just assembling to everything. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go back to the other hard drive. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back <laughs> again. With all this debauchery going on, we are done. And we're going to play with uh, XFCE for a while. And yes, I will be going back and checking Cinnamon once in a great while. Just because. But that's the way life is, isn't it? Full of ups and downs. And yes, baby, it's Arch. <laughs> we are going to try out the new Debian 12 in the virtual box. May do a video on it. Don't know. I'm behind on so many videos, and this here put me back a week behind. I got, I have three model videos I have started 
that I can't get finished because of this. I want to thank you for watching. I know it's kind of been a long one, but I'm usually good for long ones anyway. Maybe I should put out a warning at the beginning of the video. You need to get beverages and popcorn and uh, take a pee before you sit down. <laughs> I do. Anyway, take care. God bless. Be kind to your neighbors. You never go on when you're going to see them again. One of the days I'll get that all out right. And whatever you do, keep having fun. They're on the computers. You break them, you fix them. Take care. God bless. Goodbye.